Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. It is me. Yes, I shaved. I look a little bit different. Hopefully I look younger. So, uh, but um, hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, just, you know, taking care of the bison and taking care of our, our sick mama cow. Uh, so continuing off of that, uh, I think that it's time to put uh, Dakota back with the main herd. We're going to get her off of her calf and start the true weaning process with with uh, that calf. So um, I called Doc and, and told her how she was doing. She doesn't, she she's lost a lot of weight, but one thing about her is her energy has been great. Um, it, it's doing a lot better. She's eating like she's supposed to, um, but we're gonna put her back with the herd and see how she does. Um, Doc Parsons from Stratford uh, said we can put her back. It's been over a month and um, you know signs are looking up. We just got to get her back and hopefully her her um, her social level will be fine with back with the main herd and um, she'll start gaining some weight because that's what we need her to do is is uh, make a full recovery and so far she's doing that um, slowly but surely and uh, hopefully we'll get her better. So um, I'm gonna put her uh, back with the main herd. So here we go. All right, so the important part is feed is the key. So we're gonna feed Dakota and the two calves and try to draw them up and then I'll have to separate. This is the difficult part. It's separating um, the calves from the mama cow so we can kick her back with the main herd. We do not want the calves um, in with the main herd because they are gonna do uh, go through that weaning process. So I'm gonna set some feet out and try to get them up here and open some gates. Let them come to it. So feed, hopefully he's gonna draw them in. That's kind of the key here. Once we get them in, we can separate them. So we're going to sit here and watch. Maybe hide a little bit back here and play normal. And uh, we'll see if they'll come in. Okay. You could...
Okay, everything has calmed down a little bit. Gave the calves some more feed, calm them down. They were, that blood starts rushing and um, these animals get worked up. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, you've seen them before get worked up even with a, a tractor out in the middle of the pasture or a, uh, or just any time that you work them, like when we loaded up at Dakota to take her to the vet, these animals, it's something turns them on and, and, uh, and they, uh, they get all worked up about this stuff. But calves, got them calmed down a little bit. We've got them pinned up in our toughest um, part of the corral, uh, just in case they, like you saw, try to get out and you know they'll try to get back to mama. So it was really just Dakota's baby that was trying to do that, but they're doing good. Um, hopefully she gets better. She can gain some weight back with the herd and um, we uh, get things going back for her. One question that I always get um, about these calves is, are you going to castrate them? No, you do not have to castrate bison. Um, nobody really does that. It's not a thing you do in the bison industry. Um, these calves um, are gonna stay here um, for um, almost two years. We'll see how it goes, but we're gonna, these are our first two calves. So we're going to keep an eye on them, take care of them here. Um, they'll be out on some grass eventually so they can graze and, and, and live normal. We're not just gonna sit here and feed them and fatten them up uh, like a lot of people think that we're gonna do. We're not here to fatten these calves up um, to take them to the slaughter. Uh, but after, you know, the prime time um, for to um, take a calf to slaughter um, is 18 to 24 months is the prime time. So um, almost two years or up to two years. But the thing about these bison are is these bulls are not able to breed until they're two. Um, cattle can breed a little bit quicker than that, but bison cannot breed until they're at least two years old. And so that's kind of the cutoff line where people have to make a decision whether to breed um, using their, their bulls or they take them um, to a sale, they sell them to people or uh, for breeding purposes, um, or you take them to slaughter for meat. So there is some choices or some options for you but um these are our first calves we're going to see how they look um and we'll make a decision after a while and see how they look you know we, we may have to keep one um or we may sell them to uh somebody who would like to start their own bison herd um or just take them to our annual sale in in oklahoma so we've got options but to answer a question that i always get is you do not have to castrate them um like i said um, they don't start breeding until they're two years old. So it's kind of fun to watch um, these animals get all worked up. Um, sometimes when you when you have to work them and, and move them around from place to place and separate them, it's kind of fun to watch them uh, get that blood rushing and start moving around and acting goofy and whatnot. But also um, it can be a little scary and a little intimidating because you never know what these animals are gonna do. They're very unpredictable. So, but uh, you know, hopefully things are getting better um, with the calves now that they're going to go through this weaning and um, Dakota is going to get better. So thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for your comments. Thank you for uh, watching us as we um, just do taking care of the small bison herd and uh, subscribe to us right here. Um, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to follow us. Um, thank you if you already do. Um, follow us on Facebook and you can follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys.